everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. In the last episode, it's been a little while. Uh, I won't lie, in between episodes, obviously, you guys can probably tell. Um, I believe we set up the full automation for occultism. And almost instantly, I read a comment that just, like, made 99% of what we did pointless. Um, so, a lot of what we've got here, we've got a little bit of redstone. We made it a little bit simpler than it was to begin with and more reliable. Um, but we've got some messy integrated dynamics here that essentially checks, you know, what what recipe we have in, right? So it checks if there's soul sand or if there's quartz, because that's like two different recipes. And then accordingly, it sends off one of the books and the ritual begins. Awesome. You know how you fix all of that completely? You just have it so that the recipe um, starts earlier, right? And or, or I guess here, sure. Why, why not? Let's say here. And it puts in the raw book. As in it puts in this book. Because this book's all the same. It can put that book in. And then it would send it to the crafter. Craft itself. And then go in the recipe. Like. Yeah, th then you don't need infinite books. You don't need to somehow send one book at a time. The whole thing. So perfect. Perfect. Like, I'll dig up the comment. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to load up uh, an app and whatnot. To try to track it down sadly. Um, but yeah. That, <laughs> that makes. That makes perfect sense. And I think makes this incredibly easier. Um, as for this episode. We'll sort of see where we're at. So, Dragon Souls, that's sort of what we did it for. These should be pretty much automatable. Now, it says that the Empty Soul Gem, we don't have. Now, it also says Dragon Teeth, we don't have. But I think... I think that should be orderable. Unless... <laughs> I, I, there, there, honestly, there might be like a Wild and Horn thing that's a problem. Oh, no, this works. It just looks like we've got the wrong Soul Gem as the, um, as the finished product. So, what we can do is we can grab out this soul gem recipe and just fix it up in here. So chuck it there, and instead of that soul gem, see this identical soul gem? We're going to click that into its place and apply that to the recipe, and that will magically fix it. So now if we chuck all those back in there, as you can see, there's one empty soul gem that I can now order from, and we can order multiple. Beautiful. All is good in hot dog stand. So I'm going to order that. We'll get that cooking. Well, for starters, we'll make sure the system still works. It should, but listen... There's something about this game that loves to break things, like, but when I log offline and online. I say that, that's probably a complete lie. I don't know, but we'll, we'll just double check that it works. <laughs> um, as for the rest of that stuff, I don't like that there was multiple things that it listed there. So there's the Dragon's Teeth. I know about those. I think I've still got, yeah, I've got the End Crystal stuff on here, but that's just, I don't know if there's a way to automate that. I'm not sure if you guys hit me with any um, tips for that. So that might just be a matter of farming it myself manually, which is like, ugh, boring. Um... Piglet Hearts, a little bit confused there. We should have that somewhat automated. Hmm, it might be all getting used up in the alloy blocks though. And then Wilden Horns, that's another very odd one. We don't have a single Wilden Horn. Now the Wilden Horn, you get from Wilden Pack Hunters. And we do have two Wilden Hunter Charm Fragments. So I think we can make a Wilden Hunter Spawn Egg. Beautiful. And we'll just go chuck this into our mob farm. Just to farm up quite a few of these things. Um, and, and, you know, have it so that we're, we're good to go. So currently this is doing zombies, I guess. I'm a little bit concerned. We'll replace with the skeletons. Because I, I don't know if it was all zombies, but ah, we'll see what's happening. Hopefully this doesn't break everything. Um, we'll turn this on for a few seconds. It might get a little bit laggy here, so bear with me. We should get some mobs showing up. There we go. Zombies with the skeletons. And I see a couple of woofs. And look at that. Not only do we get plenty of wilden horns, as you can see, we're also getting um, some charm fragments here and there. We already have enough for another, um, what do you call it? Another egg if we need it. So we don't have to worry about that. They're fine. They'll sort themselves out. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so the, the wooden horns are taken care of. The piglet hearts, that, that is a bit of a problem. Now we have plenty of piglet predictions. So I think what we were doing, I know that I could automate this, but I don't know. We're, we're being intentionally like, oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, we got, oh, yeah. There we go. So we just haven't automated it. Do I care enough? No, 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 I don't think I do. <laughs> but there we go, that, that should be good. So now if I search Dragon Soul, all it should ask for, if I try to order 20, is, okay, some world, some more world and goodies, but Dragon Teeth is the only other thing. So do I, what else do we have? We have the Wilden Defender, which, you know, we could do. We just don't have the Wilden Stalker. We don't have his uh, fragments, which I, I won't lie, is a little bit annoying. That makes it quite tricky to, to farm them. Um, that's a bit painful. Uh, 
how do we want to go about doing this? Now, to be fair, when we order more of these, it should... Like, as we order one at a time, for example, we should get enough back to do another one. So I think it's a matter of just farming this a little bit manually, and then we should be good. <laughs> everything should be fine. All right, so on, this, on the topic of everything, soul gems, where are we at? We've got one. <laughs> now, once again, in my defense, whenever we have enough to make a dragon soul, I think it's automatically being made. It automatically gets made and it gets, for starters, chucked into this guy. But then for a follow-up, it actually gets kept in the um, the modular router itself. So one of these will have the option for dragon souls. I don't know if I've put regulators on all of them. I guess I haven't. So yeah, we've already got like three in there. It's going good. That's, we're good. I'm fine with that. The dragon teeth stuff, we'll, we'll cross that bridge later. So dragon souls, I'm going to knock that off the list. I'm going to pretend that it's done. Uh, because it pretty much is. Uh, if we go to the star now and we have a look in and we try to order this, we can get Patrick, Dragon's Teeth. This thing's going to craft some of those. Sure, that's awesome. Um, the next thing in the middle looks to be pretty well automated. Very happy with that. As is the pulsating black hole. For the most part, it's good. Um, this guy here, the teleportation cores. Um, once again, you guys told me in the comments that we could do it with, um, uh, what's the word called? Turtles, potentially. So that could be pretty well. Um, let, let me just double check. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just reading through all the comments. I'm so far behind. All right. Um, okay, yeah. Calder, um, Calder was the one that suggested the... Um, Watch my columns. <laughs> I can't think of my brain. I got to go caveman mode again. Um, Calder suggests single book recipe. Yeah, cool. Um, sweet. So what, what was that for? Oh, I closed everything. Either way, Oblivion Shard. Let's check that. That looks like it's next on our list. Um, we don't even have the shard itself automated, so let's go ahead and add that recipe in. And then we'll see what else uh, we have to do here to get this up and running. <laughs> Alright, Oblivion Shard. This guy's going to need a Mace of Destruction. Now, I don't think I've ever made this. It must have been something different in the past. Um, as well as the rest of this stuff. I don't know if we ever made Piercing Vengeance Focus. But I guess we'll have to. Uh, we have the Eternal Stellars automated, I think. Uh, Eternal Stellar. Well, we've got, yeah, we've got them, um, from bees. So we've got plenty of those. That's beautiful. Uh, Piercing Vengeance Focus. Now we've got most of this. We'll have to add recipes for a few of these because we have them, but we just don't have infinite of them, I guess. So go ahead and do that. So what's that? The Vengeance Ring. Where are we? The Vengeance Focus. Beautiful. And then this thing, so the piercing vengeance focus, sure. Um, these use popped chorus. How much popped chorus do we have? Not much. How much chorus unpopped do we have? Also kind of not much. I'll chuck a stack in to get popped. And that, that'll probably cover us for a while, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, so next on our list is what exactly? Nothing. We've got most of these. Blood orbs? I guess that's probably the, the only tricky part. We'll chuck these in and we'll see what we need to make a blood orb. So, yeah, if we look in here, it's, we don't have blood orbs. Blood orbs are made from a blood infuser that gets 10,000 blood and an empty orb and then a promise of tenacity one. I wonder if we can use a, a lower one. Now, if I go to fluids, what I should be able to do here is search blood. To be fair, the machines might just be full of blood. Let's actually double check that first. Um, evil craft over here. This is our gut. Yeah, he, he'll just be full of blood. So we just need to put the recipe in. That's easily done. Are we wirelessly doing that anywhere? Um, what are you? No, not you. Okay, but we can, you know, we can... I'm sure we can add some automation here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, yeah, yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good. All right, pattern grid. Grab some patterns. Beautiful. Sure, you can go there. Okay, so what are we after? Blood orb, this recipe here. We're going to go to fluids. We're going to search blood. This is not synced up. We're going to sync it up. We're going to search blood. Uh, we want the evil craft blood. Now it's not letting me drag it across. It's not letting me drag across either of them. We do have a blood bucket. There we go, that works perfectly. Now we want this to be 10,000, I believe. So if I just add an extra zero, then I think we're good. Awesome, I'm gonna add that as a recipe. We will need the empty blood orb or empty orb as a recipe. Cool, that will use glass. Um, we have a crafter here. I will... Oh, actually, no, it should be fine in there. Because it's just a crafting recipe, this one. So that can sit there. Cool. Um, we'll grab another crafter. Just a normal one. We don't need it to be too crazy. 
And we'll see if this works. I, I'm skeptical as to whether we'll need to pipe this stuff into a specific side of the machine, but you know, for now we can cross that bridge. Um, cool, so you're on there, place that recipe in. Shall we give it a quick shot? Let's search blood orb. Now it is saying that we are missing the blood. Oh yeah, why did I do that? I, sorry, sorry guys. Completely just forgot that we, we went over that. All right, we'll try this again. Blood orb, so the blood thingy should go in here, possibly, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it is. Um, so that's just going to be an issue with the side that it's trying to put things in on. So what we can do, oh, I'm not used to the things breaking instantly. We can place this here, place that in there. Go ahead and grab a barrel, sure. Um, we are going to want to head under there soon, but we'll leave that there for now. Um, jump into this guy for an item pipe. Probably would have been faster at this point just to run over there to grab the item pipes, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Do that, cool. So that, that should work now. If I try this again, we'll see if, that e let's see if it's even possible. Boom. Ah, yeah, there it goes. And I believe it's begun. I saw some blood particles. Oh, maybe it's a slow recipe. Surely it's not that slow. Oh, it's slow. It's awfully slow. Now this guy increases the capacity, but I guess he doesn't increase the speed. What can we do for that? So if we do at evil, we get a bunch of evil stuff. Um, and we'll see if something looks like it will speed it up. Those are grenades. Probably not them. There's the promise. Oh, promise of productivity. The efficiency increases and the speed. So the speed is different. So the blood usage is probably efficiency. And then the speed is, uh, well, it's probably speed. <laughs> so this guy here, the promise of velocity. Walk faster and more efficient. That's pretty cool. They use the productivity one, promise of velocity. Interesting. So can we make that? I would need all of these things, which need to go in here. I'm going to actually cancel that because that's taking way too long. I know we can time it a bottle it, but the whole point is that we shouldn't have to. Let's um get a dusted bowl and chuck that in there. How fast is that guy going to go? Ah. <laughs> hey, see, that's already, a, it's a little bit faster than the other recipe. So I reckon we can make this stuff and it's an, it's an investment. Okay. Let's get that iron cooked up. I need to make one of these. Um, and then just a block of redstone. Yeah, all in the blood infuser. Ah, oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy as they say in the industry. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, well for starters, I mean, it looked like that was working. So I reckon all we probably need to do is run some cables underneath and chuck an importer on the bottom. That should get the job done, I'd imagine. Hopefully it doesn't take out what it shouldn't. So currently that recipe is not done. Chuck that in there. Nothing's getting pulled out that shouldn't. Awesome. Speed it up a little bit. It, it is awfully slow right now. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, get this speed upgrade going. Possibly even multiple speed upgrades if we're lucky, maybe. That guy goes in. That guy's way fast. Oh, I guess we sped him up. And it looks like it took the item out. So that's, that's actually really good. So we'll get ready for this. Boom. I thought I could time it. Boom. So we can chuck that in there. And then if I go dusted bowl of what should we call it? And we grab two of them and I chuck them in here. Now we still have the speed applied, it's just, now it's also two times eight. <laughs> so, so it's going pretty well. Um, and we'll get that iron up and running as well. How's our iron looking? We've got a little bit. <laughs> there we go. One, two, beautiful, chuck them in. Catch the, the last little bit of this eight times. See if we can squeeze out. Ah, so close, yeah, so far. We can at least get this. Here we go. Oh! Oh, they stack in a way I wasn't anticipating. Oh, we can do so much more. <laughs> we can do so much more. Um, all right, so iron block. Let's jump in here. I don't know how many we can do, so I'm just gonna, let's just aim for 10 more on top of what we already got because it, listen, this sounded pretty good. Um, so we want the bowl of, um, not promises. We want the bowl of dusted bowl. Yeah, so this uses the bowl. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I'm going to bookmark that. That's going to save me a lot of time. <laughs> chuck that in there. Chuck that there. Chuck that in there. And chuck that there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to go so fast. Oh, this is well worth it. <laughs> I highly suggest doing whatever it is that I'm doing currently. I've just realized these guys, the Jakarta, they're dropping some beautiful leaves. Didn't even notice them before. <sighs> um, yeah, in terms of content, um, the, the second channel I... I 
it completely fell off. I like, as in, I just, I, I didn't do anything. Um, there's still videos backed up that I've got to upload and stuff. Um, there might, there's going to be, um, I'm just going to put stuff on there. Uh, I've got to stop making excuses. You know what I mean? So, there, so it'll be all over the place. It's just going to be genuinely just like a, like a dumping ground. Um, so you can probably consider it more as like a live stream thing where it's, it, it won't be live, but it will be that type of content where it's sort of like, oh, cool. He's playing that today. <laughs> you know what I mean? As opposed to, I can't wait for the next episode, which I think I sort of, I bottled myself into instantly with the rim world, which, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it is what it is. Anyhow. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the dusted bowl. The problem with the uh, yeah these is either I make more bowls or we're stuck in that same problem. Now I can actually make these quite easily, so I guess that works. So we got six of those. So then I chuck them in here. Oh no, I've got to chuck them in here, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Boom. All right, let's uh yeah, let's speed up a little bit. Come on, we ain't got all day. Boom, boom. I wait for the second one to be done. Awesome. Um. Boom, boom. Oh, 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 oh. It doesn't auto fill. What is it? Oh, this, oh my God. Oh, it's cooking. I can't, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> there is so much. Um, dusted bowl. Boom. Um, chuck these in first. Oh, okay, so stacks of four. Beautiful. We'll, we'll cook the rest of these. Th this is no, no uh, time in a bottle applied to it. Oh, no, it is. Sorry, my bad. It was... Not loaded here, loaded here. My bad, my bad. I was like, this is pretty good speed we're looking at. But no, no, alas, we are mistaken. All right, so I want three of these total. Here we go. And ta-da, that's pretty good. So now I should be able to chuck this in. And now there's no speed upgrade. And that is the speed at which it is filling, which, look, not as impressive as I honestly would have wanted, but it's kind of okay. This guy's still not full, by the way. He might have been full. Maybe I just drained all that blood out at the moment, but he's trying. He's trying. Ah, that guy's almost done. So that's one blood orb. Beautiful. <laughs> but it's cool. We, we, we now know that the blood orb works. So I'm going to order like a few of those. So they should all just plop in here. Yeah, and they'll, they'll start cooking. Cool. And that'll, that'll be done when it's done. Wonderful. <laughs> very, very good. Um, we'll jump back here, although it will probably be short-lived. What is next? The Mace of Destruction. So this is done. <laughs> this is done by ha already having a Mace of Destruction. <laughs> of course, of course. All right, let's do it at evil. I'm pretty sure there's a little notebook we need. Um, the Origins of Darkness. This will hopefully allow us to investigate the book. No, it won't. I thought there was a Sanguine. Yeah, is it? Oh, no, that's for blood magic. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. All right, so inside the... Oh, oh we've teleported away. Um, inside blood magic, we're after a mace. That's going to be a weapon. That's going to be the mace of destruction. Um, it is a variant of the mace of distortion. The force that is released by this mace is actually a powerful explosion. The longer you charge the mace, the bigger the explosion will be. Increasing the power level of this mace will increase the starting power of the explosion. So you can charge even more. It is made with some Garmin Bosia, some empowered inverted potentia, and some dark sticks. Cool. Cool. So, I've forgotten all of them. Let's do at evil, and then we'll search like bit by bit. So we need dark something, which is apparently everything in evil craft is dark something. So that, that, that did not help my case. Brilliant. I know we need evil sticks. Is that what it's called? <laughs> no, dark sticks? We need sticks of some sort. Yeah, dark sticks. Beautiful. We've got those. Awesome. Um, now, hold on. What's this for? I'm going to need 18 of these. Which means I'm going to need... What, uh, what's that? Like... 36? Is that correct? Potentially. Hopefully. So, we'll need that many sticks. Uh, we need the Garmboza. Garmboza. Yeah, here we go. This stuff is materialized vengeance essence, which we will also need. I think we need two of these a pop as well. So we're going to need 36 of these. I don't know if we'll have enough, but we'll see. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to run out of one of these things and it's going to be a nightmare to get more of it, but looks like we're good. Beautiful. I like to see it. 
Um, so let's actually go and get that cooking because I imagine this guy's almost done. No, <laughs> but we can chuck him in here. So he'll, he'll, he's next in line. Okay. He'll get there when he gets there. Hopefully, I think we're good on blood. We'll, eh, we'll see. Um, cool. So uh, let's consult that book one more time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, this way. Okay. And we need the empowered inverted potential. So the empowered inverted potential. So that is going to be done in our environmental doohickey. And it is going to be an inverted potential, which is going to need a potential sphere, which we make like this. And I need 18 of these, roughly. Roughly 18. We might need one more. We might need one less. It depends on whether we use any stars to make our follow-up stars. Cool. So these will now go in there. We will get 18. And then they need to go in our sanguini, linguini, martini, which is this guy here. Um, now, we've got some recipes here that apparently make empty all. Oh yeah, yes, I'm, I'm confused. We've got the weather container and stuff there, but apparently I can just chuck these in here and they'll go in here and do something. But I'm guessing I need linguini, linguini. Am I wrong? Linguini, linguini. Strike with lightning to empower, struck by lightning. Very interesting. Okay, cool. Um, Now, can you summon lightning? I think you can, but also, I'm pretty sure we've just got lightning grenades, right? Now, it's saying strike with lightning to get the job done. The problem is, it, it, I mean, they don't go in here. So I've clearly got to turn off my magnet, stand somewhere where nothing else will pick it up. Maybe some open skies, so perhaps we go onto the... Should I do this on top of a tree? Surely it doesn't end horribly. But we can drop those there, and then I guess... Oh! Oh. <laughs> Turn that magnet back on. Alright, well, we got two. I... Yeah. I think one of them was a stack of 16, and one of them was a stack of two. And I'm guessing... I'm guessing it wasn't too happy about that. Let's... Oh, God. Let's, uh... Go through this again. This time, I need 16. <laughs> there we go. And... I am going to try to do the full stack for science, if nothing else. So we're going to drop all that there. I'm going to go lightning and we'll see if it does a full stack. It strikes it. Okay, we only got one. So it clearly turned each stack into just one. So that's a little bit upsetting, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We've, we've got plenty of resources, I hope. <laughs> I think the science was worth it. Um, so we can grab those out. Let's uh, make a couple more. I don't really know how many we need at this point. I guess we'll go for 16, sure. We'll hopefully we've got plenty of those. Beautiful. Um, my plan now is to drop a few around. No, they, they're just going to stack together, aren't they? How big is that stacking range? If I drop one here and one here. Oh, wow. Impressive. Okay, well, I guess I will need a few more lightning grenades. That's okay. Drop that. We'll drop that. Thank you. We'll drop that. We'll just throw that. Thank you. Drop that. Throw that. All right. Well, this is, um, yeah, this is probably going to be my life for a little bit. So I will be back with these done. You could automate this. This is one of those ones where we don't need to automate it, but I, I'm awfully tempted to because of, I feel like it would actually be faster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think we could pull it off a little bit faster than I can just do it myself. Um, let's get a dispenser. Let's get a dropper. Cool. Dropper, dispenser. The dropper will drop, no. Ah, I mean, sure, why not? The dropper will drop here, the dispenser will, no. The dispenser does need to dispense correctly, which is, no, hold on. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Boom, cool. So it's going to throw the lightning at the wall, strike it, awesome. We're going to have a demagnetizer. This is going to work flawlessly. You guys are going to be really happy with this. Um, an item collector. Beautiful. So demagnetizer. I'm going to break you. You're going to become a dim chest. Boom. Item collector. And you're going to whitelist these. Boom. 
Um, cool. I mean, that's pretty much it. And then all we need to do is chuck these in the dispenser. Chuck these in the dropper. Hook them both up with redstone. So if I go... Um, redstone alloy. Redstone alloy becomes redstone alloy wire. I never see it on this screen. Isn't that what it's called? Oh, it's red alloy wire. That's why I never see it. <laughs> that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and then we go timer. Potentially. Possibly. What are we thinking? So then, if I do this, this, this. This. Uh, this. Uh, yeah. well, let's be smart about this. Let's grab a little bit of redstone just to, just to bridge that gap. Because we know it's inevitable. Really? Why are you just throwing it so pathetically? <laughs> You're a dispenser. You're not a dropper. Why are you acting like such? Oh no, they are empowered. Oh, huh? No, they're not. No, I, I, I confused myself. Wait. Yeah, I think I confused myself. Why did you not do the thing then? That's okay. Let's get um, an activator and a modular router. <laughs> we'll try this, I guess. Why not? All right, modular router. You can go there. This guy is going to be set to require redstone. I'm going to remove those. The activator will activate at the front with a right click. Cool. Chuck him in there. Chuck this on there. What do you reckon? Um, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're not doing the thing, buddy. <laughs> Well, it's not as easy as I thought. This is one of those times where it's no, it's no longer as easy as I thought it would be. Um, at modular, what do we have? We're, we've, there's a dispensing upgrade, right? There's one that properly shoots. There's a dropper. There's extruders. There's senders. Vacuum, void, blasting, camouflaging. Ah, look. I feel like the dispenser should have just done it. There's a... No, I think that just throws the item. Like, the, as in, as if you dropped it. Which, I don't know why the dispenser was being so dispensy. Why were you being so lame? <sighs> I think I just do it manually, but we just have this guy assist. You know what I mean? So, as in, set this guy to every two seconds. And then, I'll just manually throw the lightning grenades. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, we can definitely take that down to uh, 20. Right? But give me a second. I've got to... Why is it... <sighs> Just... Like, I hate that it gives this little moment where it can't even be picked up normally. Alright, boom. <laughs> Look, we'll be done in no time. This was totally better than just doing it myself. Right, guys? <laughs> Am I justified? I like the particles that are happening, like the little lightning bolts around and all that. That's fun. All right, I think we're all out. Cool. So if I search empowered, how many we got? Ah, oh, beautiful. We got plenty. We got everything, I think. 19, yeah, cool. All right, awesome. Um, let's just break that. <laughs> and this will be a remnant of the past until it's needed in the future. Cool. So we should be able to make the mace now, um, which is pretty cool. So we've got the dark sticks on us, the um, gambozala, the the gam, the gombo, the the bamboza. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, where are you? Oh, you're out of blood. Okay, you're at. Oh, well, yeah, we're out of blood. We ain't got no blood. Okay. Fair enough. Interesting. I honestly, I'm stunned. Um, is there a way to get more blood? We've got the delay pretty much as low as it can be. The spawn count, I don't know if we can go much higher. I guess the max entities. Um, let's search spawner real quick. Let's get the... Yeah, this thing up. Alright, max entities is gas tier, so we'll chuck on some gas tiers. Piglet heart for spawn count, we'll give that a try as well. Um, and then the only other thing is nothing that's in here. I think we're good. Spawn range. 
Maybe spawn range, but I, I think that's fine. All right, let's give this a try. Ghast here on this. Max Entities is now at 16, so that should allow it to spawn more, if it can. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent amount that just spawned. I like that. Um, and then on top of that, we might even be able to increase the spawn rate itself. Plenty of piglet charts. Or, or the spawn count, sorry. Um, spawn count just lowered to 8 when I right-clicked on here. We just, we just lost. We just lost 2 by, by attempting to do that. So that's, that's brilliant. That's, <laughs> that's, that's great. That's exactly what you like to see. Um, so remind me not to do that with any of our machines ever again. Awesome. Um, uh, but I mean, that should help. That should get us a little bit more blood happening here. Um, how much does this stuff need to make the Gamboza? What's it even called? Garm Garmin Boza. Um, 50,000. Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't even know if there's much I can do here to help this along. I, what I what I will say though is, we're kind of done. Like that's just, we'll wait for that to happen. We'll continue on with our with our life, and that should be done when it's done. Um, for now, we've got some of that. Oh, we've actually got, yeah, we've got a decent amount of that stuff. In the meantime, I can make quite a decent amount of maces of destruction. Let me chuck them in here, and then once again, once we have some more stuff in the future. We'll be able to fill them up if that is what is needed to make the uh, finished good, which is this Oblivion Stone, Oblivion Shard. But, um, I mean, it looks pretty good. All right, so um, if we go in here and we search Eternal Stellar, um, I think the Eternal Stellar is a little bit confused. If you remember before, I pulled two out of my out of my crafting thing into my inventory. And now if we actually look at the recipe for the Oblivion Shard, or maybe even three, like it's saying we still don't have one. Oh, now it's saying we have one. Seems a little bit confused. It's not too sure what's happening. Now, the Mace of Destruction, it seems pretty confident that this thing needs to be full. Um, we might have to do a tank, in which case I might use a fluid tank from Enderio. These guys are pretty handy in terms of all of their little doodads, in terms of filling things up. So I can chuck that guy there. He'll slowly fill. We can grab a Mace and possibly charge him in here. Maybe on this side? Yeah, look at that. So you'll just take the blood. Um, and we'll just try to get at least one of these full. So there we go, 4,000. You like to see it. So we chuck that in there. Oblivion Shard, it still says that we can't do it. So I'll tell you what, we'll order those two recipes that we needed. Um, and then we'll manually place all of this stuff in. I'll try with an empty one just to see. Oh, maybe just one. Um, Eternal Stellar. Because these guys aren't meant to stack, so that's why I think they're a bit confused, maybe. So that didn't work. Now we'll try the full mace, and that works. Awesome. Oblivion Shard. Cool. So yeah, we will have to fill those up. Um, apparently, that will be easy by doing this. No, by doing this. <laughs> Alright, no, it's a little bit confused by the stack. If I put one in at a time, we appear to be good. Um, yeah. Oh, and they actually stack once they're done as well. That's pretty handy. Now, this guy's filling up with blood pretty fast. Yeah, I, I don't really know where I was going with that statement, but like, this isn't too bad. <laughs> this, this is fine. Once again, this is something that could be easily automated, um, but we do not need to, okay? I, I think it will just make everything messier than it needs to be. There is, there is, it is fun to do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I could put the integrated dynamics, check the fluid level, only insert with redstone pulse when they're stuck. But like, we don't need to, okay? I'm I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but it's okay. It's okay because I'm not doing it well. Um, piercing vengeance. Piercing vengeance. We need uh, quite a few of them. So we'll get that cooked up. We probably actually need more along the lines of that, but... That needs a little bit more chorus than I than I had planned for, apparently. Ender bag, chorus. That's now popped. Beautiful. Um, vengeance. Let's see if we can get 20 more on top of that. Cool. They'll figure out their thing. They'll they'll get cooked up. Um, and then we should have enough here for the remaining two that at least we have at the moment. Awesome. These guys are on their way. Bam. 
Cool. We just got four more. Awesome. Um, so yeah, th I mean, th that stuff will all sort itself out. That More of that stuff will happen. Beautiful. So I'm going to say that, that the Oblivion Shard done. Yeah, I I'm pretty happy in saying that that's, that's relatively ordinary. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, Wither's Compass. This one's a little bit scarier. This one needs quite a few bosses automated. I don't know if we'll do that just yet. The Dimensional Seed alleges that it is done. Um, for the most part. Now, if we search Orb... Orb? No. What do we need to search for? What does it use? What are these? Cores. If we search Core, you can see we've already crafted at least two types of the cores that we, that we need. The Draconic and the Ender. Um, so if we now search miniature, I should be able to order these. Now this guy's saying he doesn't have any nether ones and he is completely right. We don't have any nether ones. What happened to our nether ones? Did we just never do that? That seems highly, highly irresponsible of us. Teleportation core. We right click this. Nether core. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did we just never do it? Now we've got a book here that we set up. For the Ender setup and for the Draconic. So I guess, hey, we've got quite a few cores here left. <laughs> Hold on. What's this doing currently? This is going to infuse Draconic. Is that what we needed? No, I kind of need another Ender one. But that's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, we'll set this up so that we can get the Dimensional C done. You know what I mean? Let's, let's get that guy pretty much knocked, knocked out of the park. Um, which reminds me, Dirt, how are we doing? We got a couple mil. That's not enough, but... Yeah. And we'll cross that bridge a little later. Um, yeah, so. Now the core. No, core. I guess I've got this guy on me. I can just look at. So, nether core. We need 40 Eterna, um, 20 Quanta, and 60 Arcana. So, 40 Eterna. So, we have to lose 10. 20 Quanta. So, we got to lose some. And then like 40 of this as well. So we got to lose a cunt. We got to lose a bit of everything. Um, now the Eterna, that's easy. I take off this. We've met our Eterna quota. <laughs> um, next up is everything else. So I'm going to take two of these off. Maybe three of these. Plus maybe one of those and one of those. What does that leave us with? 30. Okay, so welcome back to the party. <laughs> uh, we've got 40. We've got 15. So we, ah, did it say 15 was fine? I think it did. Hold on. Let's jump in here. Yeah, 15. Cool. And then Quanta needs to be 60. And we're pretty good. Are we are we completely good? At least... Oh, at least 60. So we could even have a little bit more. So, yeah, cool. We're, we're fine. So if I chuck this in and I go Infusion, we have Nether. Awesome. So, um, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> this is uh, mentally painful to do. Because I've, you never really have to do. Oh, we're out of good stuff. Um, you never really have to do this sort of motion, or at least I don't. Maybe if you do villager trading often. Um, and I'll write this in the book so that we know what we what we need in the future, if we want to rebuild this instead of just guessing each time. Although, hey, pretty good guess. <laughs> we we pretty much nailed that uh, first try. It was just that first bookshelf I got rid of. I did not need to. All right, cool. So we've got 21 of those. Awesome. Um, let me go ahead and add to the book and take this book. So what do we have? We have four echoing deep shelves and three draconic end shelves. So for nether, four echoing deep shelf. <laughs> that's not how you spell that. That's fine. Um, three draconic um, end shelf. I will go back up here and add an E. I think that is echoing. That looks so odd. No, I did have it right. I, I psyched myself out of it. I was like, nah, you don't have it right, but I do. Yeah, there's probably something else that's wrong there, but that, that should be good. Awesome. Um, Cool. So if we now search for our dimensional seed, well, for starters, I think it should just order the stuff, right? Now that it has all that it needs. Yeah, it's just going to start ordering this. So cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Awesome. Well, yeah. Dimensional seed. Half done. The dirt is still a problem. You need so much dirt for this guy. Um, the raw amount of dirt it uses. Um, it's down here. Yeah, 500,000. We only have a couple mil, so we do not have enough dirt. 
But that's okay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge a little later. The improbable, we've pretty much done that. There's just some manual crafting there as well. So we're looking pretty good for most parts. This one's going to be the next tricky part, which is going to be the rejuvenated flesh and all that. But aside, and the Wither's Compass as well, I guess. Um, Awakened Unobtainium. We didn't automate that. Um, but we also just might not need to. Unobtainium. Yeah. Unobtainium alloy. So we need this. And then we just need to awaken it. <laughs> um, oh. Interesting. I kind of like this. Oh. I like this setup even better. I was going to say I like this setup. But then I was like, ah, oh, that's a decent amount of mana. This is awesome. Wait, no. Wait. Huh. Oh, this just crafts the alloy. My bad. To get the Awaken, there's only that one recipe. They just all show up here for some reason. Gotcha. Okay. <sighs> the recipe for this isn't that bad. It's just like... I just can't be bothered doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, let's, let's order that stuff. Get that stuff cooking. Um... Do we just automate this? Where, where is the stuff even? I never remember. Yeah, it's over here. Cool. I, uh, I'll tell you what. I think we'll try to automate this and we'll wrap the episode up there because uh, it, it's annoying and I think once we get it done, it's just going to be so nice to not have to worry about it. Like, not even think about having to grab all the stuff. We'll just we'll just have it, which is great. Um, this should be pretty straightforward. I've, I've, we've done a few of these in our time, so... Shouldn't be too confusing. Um, so the recipe will go in here. We will then obviously have it go nearest first. And so then we pretty much just send this guy around. Um, and we can try to snake around in such a way that we don't contact the middle one just yet. Until we get here. And then we contact it. Awesome. Next thing we do is we go around and we remove any double ups. So for example, this guy's attached twice. As is this guy, as is this guy, and this guy's please copped three. Um, and then we'll go there. Cool. So then what we can do is we can do a nearest first or a furthest first, and we can organize our recipe in here accordingly. So for example, um, we go here, we go here, we paste this. Um, this will place the final item in first. So we can say, yep, sure, sounds good to me. Bring this over here and chuck him in there. And then we want to have this guy get a pipe upgrade. I think he does nearest first anyway, just by default. But by putting in an upgrade, we know for sure it is set to nearest first. Now, I lied a little bit because this guy puts the item that we want to go in the middle in first. So we want to actually do furthest first. Does that make sense? So the first item that will show up here should be the first item in this list, which is the block. Which should... Oh, God. Which should end up right... Oh! Oh, oh he's, he's already ordered stuff. He's like, oh, I've got places to go, people to be. Oh, and the essence even... Sh oh, yeah, he's done pretty well. Good on you. Um, so we just need to swap a few of these around. But he's already... He's given it a crack. He's given it a whirl. Um, all right, let's go item collector. And Actually, um, no, I think it will... Yeah, the finished item will be right here. So what do I need to do? I need to have this... Filter into... A dim chest, potentially? We could do that. Let's go dim chest. I am losing my voice a little bit. I guess downsides of not recording for a little while. Um, let's grab this off. Set this guy to extract. Grab a, another pipe upgrade so we can filter it. We might be losing stuff at the moment, but that's fine. And add a whitelist, so awakened. That should be fine. It says it has three tags. We'll see how that goes, but it should be fine. And so what I can do is place that here. Huh? Okay, let's remove the tags. Um, submit. Hmm, indeed. Why you no do the thing I tell you to do? Redstone ignored, unobtainium. Oh, it's not awakened anymore though, because... Yeah, I getcha. Interesting. Why is the awakened... Awakened? Why is it not a block? What a weird... Like, surely they could have made it a block. So if we chuck this in here and we edit the tag. So up here, it says it's just an unobtainium 
vibranium alloy block. Down here in the tag, it has that it is awakened. It has the display name and stuff. Um, now it also has enchantments applied to it. I guess that gives it the sparkly effect. But I mean, it's not pulling the thing anyway. It's the exact thing that we put in there. So I'm wondering if potentially we can just keep part of that. You know what I mean? So if we just keep the display name part. Display, um, sorry, it's jumping around a bit, isn't it? Hide flags, one, display name, hide flags. I'm thinking we get rid of this part with the brackets. So if I back this all up, or maybe we start at the front and we just remove all the parts that say enchantments. So if we delete all of this, because we're not doing any unbreaking stuff. Level. Hide flags. Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's let's submit that one. <laughs> I'm look. I'm trying. Um. Or all I need to do um, match exact tag, match only provided tags. Maybe, maybe that's all I need to do. Add that in as another one. Now does it go? No. Oh, you'll notice I actually removed the enchantment from it, so it's no longer got the sparkles around it. Um, match only provided. Ha, huh, okay. Um, you know what we're, we're actually better off doing is probably just a blacklist for the normal um, alloy. Um, which we don't even have a recipe for apparently, so that's gonna be a, that's just gonna be a problem. Um, can we? What's happening? <laughs> Unobtainium, this alloy. We don't have a recipe set up for it? Okay, what? Now, sh okay, sure. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Sorry, guys. I just couldn't see it. It, it blended in. Um, all right, well, we've ordered one. I don't think it takes that long to craft. Um, I suppose all I need to do, actually, is remove this, edit this, remove all the tags, and set this to a blacklist. And now that will actually go through. <laughs> Why do you do this? Edits. <sighs> Blacklist. Is the problem that it can't extract from the bottom? Is that the the reality here that I'm missing? <laughs> what if that is the case? How embarrassing will that be? Um, we probably will actually still do this here. We'll place this here. We're going to remove that, remove that, set this guy to extract, of course, chuck him in. Okay. Interesting. Whitelist. How can you... But that doesn't even do anything. Is it the redstone? No, it ignores it. All right. Okay. Okay. We l Listen. We tried it your way. We're gonna try it my way now. <laughs> All right, this is a lot harder than it needed to be completely. Um, we're going to place the modular router here, grab our activator. This guy's going to activate on the top. It's gonna be a right click. Um, it is, yeah, it's just gonna right click. Yeah, so if I chuck this in here, there we go. It's a, it, there we go. It's, it's just going to drop it on the ground. Awesome. Um, then we can just do our item. All right. And then what we can do, <laughs> sorry about that guys. Everything's a okay. Um, we can place this down here, place the item collector there and that should just be good. That should work. Everything should be fine now. So now I should be able to place this on here. Wait, false. Hold on. I need to tell him. What do I need to tell him? How does he know when to right click? He doesn't. Nobody told him. Nobody told this guy when to right click. When do you right click, sir? You right click when? <laughs> when what? Will not run if the filter matches. He... <sighs> no, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's a... This is unautomatable. <laughs> No, but seriously, what what's good? Here's how my system over here works. It um oh, he's integrated. 
Okay. Yeah, man, maybe... You know what? Because the problem is, like, it's just going to right-click the thing off it before it's even done being built, so... Let's just... We'll give Integrated the try. Clearly, that's worked in the past. We'll try that again. Um, so, we will need Item Interface. Awesome. We will need Item Exporter. Awesome. We need Logic Cable. Brilliant. Uh, we will need a single variable card. Ah! Yeah, that should be fine. We will need a Logic Programmer. And that will be that. Dimensional chest placed. Item exporter. Item importer. Um, we will then get our portable variable. Go to item. Chuck this guy in. Hmm. Click him here. He says that he will be an awakened unobtainium block. Awesome. Let's chuck in our logic cable. This guy exists. This guy's going to build, hey, I want you to export that item and that item alone. So now, when this item shows up... <gasps> okay, it didn't work. <laughs> I really thought if I maybe put like a little bit of like hype around it, it would work. Um, this one's not working because... Um, I don't know. Let's change this to one. No, that didn't, that didn't do anything. Um, he's not working because... Um, because the fact that that doesn't change anything is crazy. Um, because he doesn't know what he's doing, to be truthful to you. He just doesn't work. The ticks, I mean, he should be working super fast. Um, dimensional chest is obviously empty. This guy here has no excuse. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty crazy. That's, that's, that's very interesting. Um... I will try one other thing. Is it just impossible to extract from this guy? Like if I chuck this into export all items, will he actually pull this item out? That's that's crazy. What? Why is the awakened altar different to this guy? Or does this guy not work anymore as well? This guy should work. This guy has no reason not to work. Let me search seeds. I'm pretty sure I've got a recipe for dirt seeds. Recipe goes in. Recipe begins. Now, it's going to show a dirt seed there, but we should still see it pop up here. And we should see one in our inventory. Dirt seed. There you go. So, this guy can extract. <laughs> this guy's got a, a list of items. Man. What are, what are you? Because the fact that, like, this one exports every item. <sighs> the right-clicking is the way to do it. If we are going to automate this, which I... So wanted to. That activator right clicking it, that's the play. That's how we do it. The problem is, I don't really know how to trigger it. Ah, uh, I, uh, oh yeah, we, we can do it, we can do it. We, we can do it, we can do it. Inventory reader. Boom, 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 boom. Place this guy here, give him a little bit of logic. Um, if we chuck this guy on, check this. Um, items, slot item, it tells you what's in there. It tells you what is in there. Um, so, what we need to do is go very variable. Probably three variables. I can see this getting messy. We want to say, um, if the slot item is equal to this item, output a redstone signal. Sounds pretty simple. So, we want to say, equals, equals, and we want to say if that item equals this item, do redstone. Um, then what we will do is we'll clear our inventory ever so slightly, just to make this work. We need a variable store, which we cannot afford. Um, <laughs> we will get a block of this and unblock it for our variable store. Brilliant. All is good. Everything's fine. Remain perfectly calm. Variable store. That will go there. Cool. He's happy. He gets these two items. We now need a redstone writer. Brilliant. Um, do we still have our modular router? Is he still chilling below? Potentially? No? Okay. That's fine. Um, boom, boom, boom. Cool. All right. Uh, modular router. We'll go here. 
Awesome. He's got nothing on him. That's fine. I'll just have to make a new one, but that's okay. You are going to right click up. Um, you're going to do it when you, ooh, when you receive redstone, but you're getting redstone from there. I see your problem. Um, No, it can't be done. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. I'm sorry, guys. It's impossible. It cannot be done. Um, hmm. I have no idea. I I have no. I it it can't be done. <laughs> How do I get you to get redstone without the guy below you getting redstone? I think maybe. Hmm. How do I give you redstone but not for him redstone? Uh, what a world we live in. I think what I can do is I can place this here, place the lever on top, and that applies redstone to him, but not to him. So now this should work. Um, and he will only run when given the logic here, which is the thing we made before. Awesome. That should work. Everything should work. All I need is my item collector. Boom. And this can have a small range. Yeah, looks looks like a nice range to me. Sounds good. Okay. How are we feeling? We feeling like this is gonna work perfectly? Me neither. Um, but we're gonna give it a shot. So if I place this here. Boom. Worked perfectly. So now it's received that item and it has ordered another one, as you can see. The redstone's not applying to it. Um, fire essence is there, all the, oh, why'd you go there? Have we accidentally hooked onto something else here? No, it doesn't look like we have. Fire essence, that guy. Water essence, that guy. Earth essence, that guy. Air essence. Why did that, why did that happen? <laughs> why did that happen? Huh. Oh, I guess because why Why wouldn't it? Um, I might have to alter this recipe. But for start, oh, oh. he's not going to work because he has a tag. Um, oh, my God. Because now this is technically, this is a new one. <laughs> this is a new one. So now it's not working. Man. Why is it so much harder than it needs to be? Because what we could do now is we could have like a comparator, for example, and then we could have a counter. There's a counter that will like emit a redstone after it receives its own few redstone impulses. But like that's so much work for this. There, there, there's got to be a simpler way. I'm, I'm sure you guys know the simpler way and I'm sure it's embarrassing listening to me, but I don't really know. Um, all right. So what are we starting with here? Let me fix this. We're starting with an essence vet. No, we're starting with the finished block. Then a pedestal, then a vessel. So what I'm going to try to do here is change this. Start with this, then a pedestal. So I want to sort of move all of these around. So if I if I um, bookmark these, we should be able to do that quite easy, I think. Oh, boom, boom. So I want you to be there. And then I want air essence 40. Then we want, um, doesn't really matter, I guess untanium. Then Earth Essence for you see what I mean? And then we'll just alternate this a little bit. Chuck you there. Awesome. Water essence 40. Unobtainium. And fire essence 40. And that should now all be in the correct order. Everything should still work as, as before, but a little bit more reliably, I guess. Hopefully. So you go there, cool. Um and still just you. Why are you the way that you are? Hmm. Because the problem is, in order to fix this, I now need to go through all the logic and, like, pretty much replace it. I need to say if the list contains a different thing, output resident signal. And what is that different thing that we want to do? I don't know. If the list contains... <sighs> I genuinely... I, I don't know. What do we do if... In here, this guy doesn't even say there's an item in there. I mean, there's a problem. This guy is, he's blind. 
So if I take this off, well, it gets picked up. <sighs> okay. I feel like it should have, I feel like, yeah, this is the problem then. But I can't fix that. I can't make this guy magically work if he's not going to work. Like if I chuck a logic cable in, suddenly he's like, oh yeah, yeah logic cable. Hmm. You know what? We'll double check next time as to whether it says it's full or not. Cause maybe we can do some magic there or something. I'm not too sure. Um, either way, can we get another one of these cooking up? Apparently we can. All the items are in. Awesome. It worked perfectly that, perfectly that time. So it is now currently awakening. Otherwise we blacklist it again. We do something with that. We say like, hey, if it's not that, then I think we can do that. See, this guy says, it says there's something in there, but it just doesn't know what it is. Um, we can do this though. I've, I've realized the fault in my ways. So what we will do is we will search alloy. We will order just a normal alloy. Once again, I don't know how long that will take. Old old guy. We'll try his hardest. Um, and we'll set it up as uh as an opposite, which we can do. Which will be yeah. There, oh, this this is what I should have done from the start. <laughs> it's totally not gonna work again because it can't help itself. But we're we'll, we're gonna try nonetheless. If this thing crafts, come on, man. The thing is, if I go over to look, it'll be done. Or is it? Oh, it's, oh, the recipe's just found its way in anyway. All right, cool. So, I, I don't really know what's happening, but either way, I've got this guy. We're going to jump in here, go to item, chuck in our unobtainium item, and we're going to replace our previous variable card with that. Next, we're going to do, we're going to search equals. But we want not equals. We want to say if the item in the inventory is not saying that it is an unobtainium vibranium alloy, output a redstone signal. And that should now work. So we can chuck these guys in, the little components. We can chuck our finished one here. And as you can see, it works. It said, hey, that's not what we want. Whereas if I chuck this guy in, <laughs> it's trolling. It's actively trolling me. You're, you're going as fast as you can. You claim you're going as fast as you can. Not equals to. That's such a lie. Okay, it worked that time. Interesting. Very interesting. We might have to add a delay to the guy below so that he can sort of, so that he knows what's happening. So he's like, oh, hold on. You know what I mean? It seems to be working though. Uh, let's have a little bit of faith in this. Let's, let's just watch it for a little bit. To be fair, I don't think we have any more alloys lined up, but like that's pr that worked pretty well. We'll check back on it in the future, <laughs> as with most of our setups to see if it works. I'm pretty happy with that though. That looked pretty good. Uh, you know what? I actually do take that back. We're going to order a few of these. I'm going to go see how the crafting is going for them because I'd love to title the episode um, in regards to this because it was a little tricky for me to figure it out. So I imagine it might be a problem other people are having as well. This guy's going as fast as he can. I was going to see if there was an issue there without power or something, but uh, he looks fine. He looks like he's doing what he can. Um, which means we are left to our devices over here. But we'll see. So this is a completely fresh start that's going to happen. As in, you know, it wasn't mid-process. And look at that. How cool. It, it didn't break in. Yeah. I think we're good. I, I genuinely, I think we're good. I think I think this is a, a very successful episode. <laughs> and then the item plops off. Beautiful. Beautiful. It doesn't get much better than that. We might watch one more happen. Um, but I'll say that is the awakened unobtainium vibranium alloy block done. <laughs> Do we seriously just have the withers compass and philosopher fuel? I know there's some other bits that we probably have to do a bit more of, but no, well, actually we've done a lot of this. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. There's still some manual work for me to do, of course, to really get this all, all done. Oh, but we're nearing it. We are nearing it indeed. Um... Dragon Tooth, I've got to do the jet suit. I still need to do a few more of those, and then we're jumping back into a uh, philosopher fuel and stuff. Yeah, this this guy's going to be a manual farm because you need. I guess we can try to get a werewolf. I think that's a lot of effort to do, but that that would be the way, right? Then you can get infinite werewolf flesh. Yeah, 
We'll have to look into that. See if we can really make one happen. I know you need it. The problem is you need villagers, and I don't know if you can make them. I think you just have to, like, happen upon them. You know what I mean? Which is rough. Um, what's going on here? It has one scheduled. Nothing's here. Oh. Ooh. You know what could happen? If this goes wrong, then this guy right-clicks everything off of this and everything gets voided. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which might have happened here, but it looks like it's just waiting for the alloy block. So I think we're actually fine. I think everything's good. Maybe. Oh, that's cra oh yeah, it has to craft so many blood or oh that's gonna be ages. And oh Yes! So it, yeah, it actually works. That's awesome. I I'm very happy with that. Um just real quick. The um the Garamboza stuff. We've got, we've got a little bit of that. I feel like, are we still waiting? Is that a crazy amount of blood that we are attempting to craft that I just wasn't really fully taking in? I think it was. That goes full, that goes full. The, these guys are all full. Yeah, that's rough. Okay. Um, it's also possible. This guy is set to ignore conditions, so he should just run no matter what. Um, oh, this stuff's not uh, force loaded. There we go. We should, uh, the blood problem should be solved. That, that'll be done in no time. Awesome. All right, well, yeah. Once again, I'm pretty happy with what we've done here. Um, I'm no longer happy with what we've done here. This is a horrible disaster and it is never going to succeed. <laughs> How did this happen? The first item must have gotten sucked away. The thing is, I don't, yeah. This guy needs redstone to run. I guess I can, if it's not the right thing, well, it should be right clicking this guy off to be, uh, in fact, I think it did. You can see at the top, there's no item there. Um, let's set this guy to run on a delay. Let's, let's make this like a one second delay and we'll pretend that that's going to work. Um, cool. Um, that's all fine. That's fine. Water essence. Okay, I need... There's only two fire essence in there? Oh, no, there's a lot more. Um, cool. Fire essence, we'll get that built up. What else do I need? I need a vibranium um, block, and then I need one of those. Cool, so you'll go there. You guys will go here. That should be fine. That last little change we did, adding the delay, that should help. I don't know if it'll be perfect. Um, the alternative would be that I combine this with... Um, whether whether or not there's items in the barrel, you know what I mean, or items somewhere else. So we say like, hey, is there items in the barrel? If so, like now you can run your test or something. I don't know. There's I'm sure there's a way we can do it, but this this is half reliable. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Um, thank you of course to our donators and our channel members. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Moldizzi and Fine Phoenix Thirteen. Um, thank you to all past, present, and future channel members. As you can see, that thing's broken. That's that's brilliant, isn't it? The problem with the tick delay now is that when it's true, when it's saying like the item is there or whatever, that's going to run for even longer. So I feel like that's still a problem. So I don't know what the solution is, to be honest. Um, let me know if you have any tips. I'm sure you guys would probably give me a, a better solution here. Yeah, and as you can see, it puts everything off by one. The other, only other thing I can think of is if I change the recipe to put in the unobtainium alloy block last, then it's almost always guaranteed to be the last one to go on. And then if there is an issue, all I have to do is plop the block back on. We could even just have the block not part of the recipe and just forcefully kept in this machine at all times using an export or something. Yeah, that, that would probably work better. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.